What's going on everybody jeremy with creole catfishing uh, weather is not good today so we decided not to go fishing it is raining drizzling not not good conditions at all so much needed maintenance today uh going through some of our stuff make sure everything's okay main of our business today is i'm actually trying to fabricate some mounts for some rod storage holders on my boat so kind of got to go through the process and show y'all what I'm doing and um, just stick with us. We'll see how it turns out. I don't know if y'all can see this or not guys, but the uh, weather, not not what I consider catfishing weather. I mean, they got a misting rain going on, the wind, north wind starting to blow. Not, uh, not good conditions for catfishing. So that's why we're doing uh, work on the boat today. Been wanting to do this for a long time and Beans, we're not going out fishing. It'd be a perfect chance to do it. Okay, well, by now, most of y'all have seen my boat, my uh, my 20 foot uh, Triton aluminum center console. Um, I really don't like the idea of my rods being down here in these holders for two reasons. One, I like to keep the floor of my boat as open as possible for walking around and everything else. And two, there's not enough room between this wall here and the other wall for my seven and a half foot catfish rods. So my rods don't sit down in these holders. They tend to kind of stick up. And I'm, I'm just afraid with these nice rods, we're gonna break some tips or something like that. So I had the idea, I got these actually off of Amazon right here. These are what they call some crisscross uh, rod holders. Uh, Atwood makes them. And, you, and it, it comes in a set, there's two of these. You basically put the butt of a rod here and the next rod you put the tip here. So uh, I'm trying to come up with a way of mounting these in the boat. I, I wanna put a set on each side, that way I can hold eight rods. And hopefully I can come up with a method of mounting these to be out of the way and very efficient with space. Okay, what I've come up with here is what I've got right here is a two inch by two inch piece of steel, angle iron, eighth inches thick. And I drilled two quarter inch holes right close to the edge. That way it'll mount in my uh, VersaTrack rail that I have right here. Got some thumb screws on them and I mounted this down. The idea that I've got is I'm gonna mount another piece of steel this way on an angle like this something wide enough this piece of steel isn't wide enough i'm using this just for mock-up that these rod holders are going to sit just like this on this steel but i want it at an angle to where it's going to be turned up some and it's going to sit on top of this shelf area that's from here to my gunnels which is kind of a wasted space anyway so what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to determine what i want that angle to be so i'm just going to put it here I'm gonna kind of mock it up just, just to kind of play with it and see what I want it to be. And I'd like it to be about right there. The bottom of that holder about halfway in that shelf, but where the top rod won't interfere with my bimini top, but where the rod's gonna ride here and not get into this right here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold this like this and I'm gonna mark it. It's gonna make me a mark on that piece of steel. That way I can take my square and draw me a line. And I'm gonna take my grinder and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trim this off. I'm gonna trim this piece off, make it shorter. That way when I get my plate wide enough for this to mount to, I'm just gonna weld it on here and make my bracket. take me a little measurement here to see how far that mark is from the inside 
And I'm just going to put me one the exact same thing on this. straight edge and draw me a line. Okay. Should be able to follow that. No problem. Once I once I unbolt it, I'm gonna take my time and make a really, really good line right here though I can follow it with my grinder. And we're not we're not using any fancy tools here uh i've just got an old grinder with a cut off wheel on it that's what i'm using to cut my metal i've got an old uh lincoln ac cracker box that i'm gonna weld it with nothing uh nothing fancy here i promise you but we're gonna see if we can't make this bracket and uh get her done all right guys got my angle trimmed up you can kind of see the the amount that i cut off of it so what we're gonna do we're gonna mount this back up again Kind of test test our angle see if I'm happy with it now the, the reason I decided to mount it to mount these uh, horizontally like this I've got a couple of vertical rod holders in this boat the problem is you can see how high my carport is at the house it is just high enough that my bimini top passes. Well, the rods are much taller than that. So if my rods are in vertical holders, they won't they won't pass under my carport, they'll hit. And to me, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of it. So let's see, let's see if I did any good here. Okay, just lay this on there like that. We're gonna check it. You what i like it i'm eyeballing this top rod here and it's passing right here right on the top of my gunnel so this is not going to interfere with my bimini, bimini top at all i am pretty happy with what i've got going on right here so y'all can kind of see what it's going to look like in the end i'm just going to have a have a plate right here going down at an angle where these rod holders are going to be on now I just have to go to the, I guess I'm going to go to Tractor Supply, something like that, and go get me some um, plate that's wide enough for these things to mount on, because obviously what I've got here is not quite going to do the job, but we can, uh, we can take care of that. All right, I have to run to uh, Tractor Supply, go get me a piece of steel, because I didn't have the right size here. And all this is, is an eighth inch thick piece of three inch flat bar. Use that for the for the base, what I'm gonna mount. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come right here and just put my first one on here and just kind of make some marks about where I want it to stop. So I, I want it well supported. So I'm gonna kind of come a little above that top mount right there. Take my square and cut, draw me a straight line. Make sure everything's nice and square. And we're gonna cut this off. We're gonna mock it up and uh, we'll see what we got. have our pieces cut like we want i'm going to kind of put them back up here and mock it all up and see what uh kind of see what i think about it okay i'm just going to let that rest against the boat right there this is going to go here tell you what guys i am pretty happy 
with how this is gonna sit. I may just let this thing sit at the bottom just a little bit, I don't know. Let's see, this could come up here. I may pick it up just a little. Make sure my alignment's good down here. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. We're gonna pick it up just a little. Just a little bit off the bottom. That way it gives those rods a little bit of a little bit of clearance, you know, because I it's those big rods and those big reels. You want a little bit of clearance on there. So I'm just gonna let it sit just like that. It's gonna sit there. Let's see. I'm trying to eyeball this and see how much room I actually have. That's gonna be pretty close. That's gonna put that top rod riding right down the edge right there. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave it just like this. So all I'm gonna do is mark it right there on my piece of angle. That way when I pull all this off and weld it, I have a reference mark. I know where everything is supposed to be and I can weld it up in place. But that, but that is cool. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that like it we're gonna take this off and we're gonna go weld this up kind of do a final mock-up of how what it's gonna look like and then I can make three more just like it but as y'all can see I really believe in mocking things up fitting it before I do any final cutting or final welding because you can't you cannot mock it up too many times you, you just can't so, so that's what's gonna happen. This is gonna sit this way. This is gonna sit on top, just like this, right at my mark. In fact, I'm gonna check my mark with my square. Be sure I got a good, even mark. See how it's a little uneven? Just a little. But we're gonna fix that. I'm going to start off here. So I'm gonna darken it right there. Now I've got everything nice and square. Hey guys, got our got our plate welded on. Like I said, it's not it ain't any expert welding. I don't want nobody laughing at me. But we do have it welded on. I went ahead and I took my grinder and I rounded off basically every edge I can find. I wanted everything nice and round. I want any they don't want anybody getting caught on any of this and hurting themselves or anything like that. So that's just something I'm a I'm a stickler for. So, I'm gonna bolt this back up and kind of kind of take one last look at it. Make sure we're happy with everything we got going on before we go any further. Come on, get on there. Touching the deck of the boat, which I can handle that. That's no big deal at all. So now I can take a a last look at this, make sure I'm happy. Which I do believe. I do believe that that's gonna work? Oh, sorry, bud. The only thing is. I'm gonna have to move it down some because apparently that screw hole is gonna hit right where that weld is. So I'm gonna pick it up just a little bit and let it down. That way that doesn't interfere. But I think that's where we're gonna, I think that's where we're gonna lock it down at right there. I like it. And the kit I bought comes with Comes with these big Phillips head screws, which I would probably have to have. I'm gonna probably have to pre drill some holes to even go in there with it. 
but that's okay. We can handle that no problem. Kind of help those screws out just a little. Sometimes they don't take much. a different type of screw because i don't think these screws are designed to go in steel like that so i can see already it's tearing up these threads look at these first two i put in it destroyed these things but that's okay i actually have some big self-tapping screws that i can put in there in their place so i don't think that'd be a bad thing Daddy. but for the time being we're gonna get this painted up We're gonna make it look pretty. Okay. Kind of skipped a few steps here, all the boring stuff, but basically what I did, this is the one we put together a little while ago and mocked everything up, this right here. And I went ahead and I cut all my other pieces and I made me three more just like it. So now I have all four of my brackets built I've got them welded, got everything cooled off. So now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my grinder, I'm gonna just clean all this up, you know, clean all the slag off, you know, clean up these ugly old wells. Cause I have to clearance this right here on this part, cause it's gonna hit the gunnels on my boat and it's gonna make them tilt at a funny angle. So we're gonna get those cleaned up then get them mounted for the last time to make sure everything's good before we paint them. look at these before I paint them. I want to look at these and I want to make sure that they're all the same because it's awfully hard to redo everything once they're painted. So I'm just going to take a look. Everything looks good. I like it. Okay. Pink time. guys first step i'm going to put some of this self-etching primer on it's really good stuff for bare metal really it really digs down into the metal helps everything stick put one good coat of that self-etching primer should be plenty now normally i would not paint right here inside the door of my shop but it's rain pouring down rain everywhere it's the only spot i have that's good and dry or my paint won't get wet. You don't want to put your coat too, too thick. You just want to kind of dust it on there. Let this primer kind of get set. And then we can come back with a heavier coat once this primer starts to do its job. But I can tell you, I'm gonna need two coats on this because you can kind of see, I, I need to let it etch in here good. I'm not getting my coverage just yet. So for a nice even color, you wanna make sure it's all done first before you move on to anything else. And it doesn't take long. See already, Already this paint's dry to the touch. It's already etching itself in there. So we're gonna go ahead and salt our second coat. Yeah, see now we're... Okay. 
Now we're getting some good coverage. Here. Take a little bit more. We're not trying to win any awards here, but hey, why not do it right? Yeah, when you build something like this, I'm gonna ask you, man, where you bought those things at? Nope, didn't buy them, made them. Okay, we've got our primer set up. It is almost dry to the touch just slightly damp which is perfect for what you want for your next coat of paint you want that way your next coat of paint bonds in with the primer this is what we're going to be using right here this is black epoxy paint by vht this is the same stuff you see like on atv racks and parts uh vehicle suspension parts axles things like this this is really really tough stuff and it does say on here self-priming you can use this without primer. Me, personally, I prefer to put primer. It's just that extra layer of protection. But this is what we'll be using to paint our parts with. As y'all can see, I went ahead and I moved these parts out here to the edge of my roof. It actually stopped raining for a little while. So this way I have a little room to get around everything and everything has some separation to it. All right, we're gonna let that dry. As wet and humid as it is, I'm sure it's going to take quite a while for this epoxy to dry, but that's okay. We got plenty of time. Nope. All right, guys, these brackets, nope. they've been out here for about two hours, and they look they look dry enough, plenty dry enough to go mount up on the boat. So we're going to take them down off of here, get everything ready, and we'll uh, show you all what the finished product looks like. All right, paint's dry. This is what our brackets look like now. So... I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. Now, I don't have these installed in any particular place just yet. I know this is about where I want them, but I haven't decided exactly where they're gonna be, but that's what I like how they're on this Versa track. I can slide them back and forth anywhere I want. Again, this is another phase of mock-up, I guess you can call it. Okay, that is that is sturdy right there, not going anywhere. Okay, and see also this this strap goes here. I guess we'll put the we'll put the long side down. That way when you open you open it up, it just hangs over. I think that would be the I guess that would be the preferred way to do it. That's how we gonna do it. What I did, I found some self-tapping sheet metal screws in the shop, and I think these may do a little better than the uh, big Phillips head I was using earlier. But we're gonna see. We gonna try and see. If not, well, we'll find something else. No big deal. guys check that out that is one side installed that is awesome looking and i just happen to have a couple of rods sitting right here we're gonna try it out see what it looks like 
everything looks like. I am excited. I want to do this for a long time. There you go. Look at that. Five rods. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Man, it don't get no better than that. We've got rod storage. They're up, they're out of the way. And really, it really made use of some dead space in my boat here, because this really isn't used for anything else. <laughs> So this, this is awesome. I love it. All right, I want to get in the boat and show you all the final product. But as you can see, that's five rods in that holder there. And man, you can see how much space that's going to save me in the bottom deck of my boat. Now I have all this free, all of this. Walk around, do what I want. The rods are out of the way. I love it. On the other side, I went ahead and I installed the other two and just have them sitting there ready to put the rods in. Now, the best part is, I got a mess to pick up. Yeah, all of that. I got tools everywhere. Yeah, I got a mess to pick up. But you know what? Y'all don't have to worry about that. All right, guys. I think that's about do it for today. Uh, installed is done. I'm very happy with how everything came out. Uh, if y'all have any questions about what I did, Drop it in the comments, or you can also email me at creolecatfishing at yahoo.com. I'll be happy to answer any questions y'all have. Uh, I'm going to put a list of materials that I used down in the description of this video. That way, if y'all want to make y'all set of y'all own, y'all can uh, have at it. Any way I can be of a help, y'all let me know. But until then, thank y'all very much for watching. Don't forget to hit uh, subscribe. Just click the little bell. That way, y'all notified if I come out with something else. Uh, and also, you can also find us on Instagram, Creole underscore catfishing, where we post some stuff up every now and then let y'all know what we have going on when we're not fishing. So until then, very much. Hey, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all subscribing. Yeah, it means a lot to us. Y'all have fun out there. Be safe. And as always, bon pêche, everybody.